steady pace Roman of the Empire. And the first question for Roman is, how did you first get into content creation and live streaming, my good man? So, um, like a lot of folks, uh, Gary over at Nerdrotic was a, a big influence. And before 2017 was kind of a, a, a watermark year for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. That was the death of Doctor Who which is what made me start watching YouTube in a different way than I had before. Before I was watching it for like music videos, kind of what, what not. But then I wandered into Gary's show uh, about the death of Doctor Who. And that mm -hmm. from that point forward, hearing, uh, you know, your point of view articulated by someone else. So you realize that you're not insane uh, was good. And mm -hmm. so watching YouTube, watching YouTube, watching YouTube. Then I retired from uh, my, my military work after, mm -hmm. you know, a, a few decades. Went to work for regular people for a little while, decided that was not necessarily what I wanted to do. And so I uh, needed a hobby. But uh, I was doing music, still do for a, uh, a little bit. But I started, I started watching more YouTube and mm -hmm. seeing like-minded folk. And I'm like, oh, this, you know. Maybe. And I, I put it off for a long time um, until uh, Gray over at Wakazashi's Tea House oh, yes. uh, mm. was doing a stream one night and he just kind of threw uh, an invite out to whoever was there because it was like super late uh, U.S. Mm -hmm. time. I was just up because I'm a weirdo. And he was doing <laughs> a stream about Blade Runner, which is like one of my just all time favorite movies. I can talk about Blade Runner unscripted for a good 17 hours. So uh gray throws this thing out i'm like you know what why not why not why not give it a go uh so i set up my at, at the time not very good laptop and hopped on and uh salty that he was then salty texas c now he's mm. salty traveling c was in there uh blair to blair was in there as well and we talked and we just did the thing for a while i'm like you know what that's uh this is something i could i can do mm. now there were some stumbling blocks as there there always are of course my early my early days of streaming were uh wonky at best you know great yeah gray is gray is top notch i love oh, gray man. um and so i my setup was was goofy i didn't have the right gear all of the all of the things so um i've got my my man uh the thad that shouldn't be the unbearable 73 over in new jersey and he's he's a big tech guy and i'm like dude, what do I need to do to get these things running properly? Because before I, my early streams, I don't know if you bothered looking at any of the, the early, the early days of Roman of the empire. Um, I was literally recording it with my iPhone. Oh, cause I was doing recording video, recorded videos initially and talking about uh, things of interest. It, there wasn't a lot of rhyme or reason in the beginning. It was just things I found interesting. Uh, talking about the book, Who Goes There? Talking about Star Trek episodes. Now, I couldn't incorporate, I didn't have the ability to incorporate any video or pictures or any of that stuff into uh, my content at that point. It's just mm -hmm. literally this stupid face talking for, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes about stuff. And so finally, everything, everything just grew and then you you my you wander into other people's streams a lot more well if i did anyway earlier on uh, uh, mm -hmm. Mac, uh, uh mvp max von priestley uh yep. mm -hmm. hopping on there and just kind of feeling your feeling your way around the live stream aspect of it because the recorded stuff is fine it is it's super time consuming though because it mm -hmm. does require a lot more of you although my earlier stuff didn't because again stupid face talking and that's all it was but i got more uh evolved and then i was starting to incorporate video and stuff but it was still recorded videos i wasn't mm -hmm. really hitting the live stream notch until uh 2022 so I'm on basically a year, talk, 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 stupid face. And then uh, my buddy, John, the creative blue collar guy, mm -hmm. uh, so we were talking in the backyard and we're like, we could just do this on a show. And that's what we started. Squeaka, my favorite yes. mouse. Um, we squeak, started talking. And, and so the, the early <laughs> live streams were, were largely political based. Um, just talking about 
things that were going on in that realm. And then things changed because they always do. And I started mm -hmm. doing different, my, more of a format that was nerd oriented because I, I kept trying to inject that into our streams. And John's like, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know Doctor Who. I don't watch Star Trek. Uh, so and all that stuff. So it just took on its own uh, life form because that's, I mean, they kind of do. They're going to evolve into what they should be. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we now we have the format that we have now. So if it weren't for Gary, I wouldn't be doing this. If it weren't for uh, uh, Gray over at mm -hmm. Wabzass Jesus, I certainly wouldn't be doing this. That was the one pivotal moment that really got me into the idea of I want to be a YouTuber because it's it's fun to talk about the stuff that we talk about. That's the main oh, reason absolutely. to do it. Absolutely. I mean, as for Waka, that's my name for Wakazashi's Tea House. I always call him Waka for short. It's been a while since Which we is, had a good talk. Um, I, I could I couldn't pronounce it for the longest time. I finally I can finally say it without sounding like a blithering idiot. Well, more of a blithering idiot. Uh, I used to always get it and get it wrong. And Gray would mm -hmm. laugh. Yes, yes, you're very funny, Roman. Thank you, Gray. So anyway, anyway. It's very hard interacting with Japanese-based content creators, especially around the time that reality-based goes live. I mean, in terms of, of Waka, we've had him on two great shows, uh, some of the earliest episodes of reality-based, and uh, it's good to know that he's kept on going and he's kept on growing, which is always good to see. Comics aren't really my thing, folks. I mean, it's I don't even have enough time to make videos properly anymore. Never mind read. But it's good to know that fine folks and fellow creators who are at the core of the foundations of reality based are still going strong. So to give you all some context in regards to Roman's first video and his first show on record, his first video on record was called What's uh, what it's all about, an introduction, so he was smart, he did an introductory video, um, August the 17th, 2021, and the first show I could find was called John and Roman Solve the World's Problems, and it was called Livestream 7. It was on July the 1st, 2022, which just goes to show that Roman has been doing this for a good few years. He's built a, a solid community in that time, it's not a problem to, to not appeal to a mass audience, because I, as I always like to say, Roman, there are advantages to staying under the radar. I mean, I recently passed 2,700 subscribers. Oh. It's large. It's largely, folks, not what you know. It's it's really who you know in this in this day and age. I mean, I remember when I first started uh, being on shows, I was much more of a of a reformer and of a moderate when it came to popular culture. Now I'm like, fuck it, burn it all to the ground, to hell with PG-13 stuff. We're going R-rated motherfuckers. Uh, and yeah, and that's, we're, we're, we're the same, for probably a lot of the same reasons. I, mm -hmm. we, one, I, I'm, monetization is, and I, it's, I'm, I'm that's something you don't want to have. I mean, because that's that's stupid. But uh, it's not something I'm super worried about either. Um, you know, you want my my the thing that I would like to see the thing that you know I think most of us want or you want to see people watching your show. I have the you know the the joke about the Mona Lisa in the closet. It's a fantastic painting, but if no one sees it, why does it exist? So mm -hmm. you want people to watch the show. Um, now the the pitfalls of becoming too big. Yeah, you're right. You can't use the colorful and <laughs> Terms not say tranny that, demon. Um, you can't. You can't. Um, so yeah, all we're on, all we're on of the empire. If you if you watch our streams, they are definitely they are not for children. Um, so co cover cover their ears. Put them outside the house because we use all of the, all of the, all of the words because we're grown ups. That's the way grown ups talk. Have you ever been around humans before? Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I don't. We don't. I don't see a lot of point to holding back. Um, I'm, I'm neither, I'm, you know, I'm not in that middle zone. I'm, I'm small enough that I'm still growing, um, but I'm not so big that I can just do whatever, you know, you, those guys can do whatever they want because they have the numbers. It's those guys in the middle. Those guys in the middle got to watch where they step, you know, mm. one one landmine away from uh, blowing, off, blowing off their monetization, so to speak. <laughs> That's why we keep our uh, budget at zero, folks, so we can <laughs> keep on going and keep on growing without... Uh, 
a financial element drives Americans up the wall that something can exist without a profit motive. But uh, there we are. It's great to see all the fine folks in the chat. To answer your question, evil fluffy bunnies, yes, Ubisoft have been laying people off recently. They're cutting costs because they know that their projects are going the way of the dinosaur. And I would happily support Mephisto X starting his creator journey. And uh, I'd love to have him on reality base sometime, schedule permitting, of course. Excuse me. <sighs> oh, dear. Well, and I see he has a comment up, up uh, top talking. Uh, I wish I could be, I could create a YouTube channel, but I'm a working man. Dude, I totally get that. Um, mm -hmm. when, I, when, I was, when I was doing the, the job, there was no way that I would be able to do uh, a show. I had the band back then, a little bit of a different deal. Uh, you're not so much schedule based. I mean, if YouTube, I mean, you, you kind of got to be. I'll hold. I'll hold off on on the the, who, the who's and what's. It's of that. But mm -hmm. uh, as a, as a regular working dude, I totally get. It. I mean, a lot of creators are able to do it. If but it's like, well, do you have a family? Are you are you are you having to worry about those aspects of things? If if you don't, you you probably. <clears throat> do have the ability to do it depending on what shift you work hours and all and all that stuff but yeah man well um, we'll we'll get to to penetrating oh yeah. that because that whole situation is one of the great foes of a content creator but in regards to creator origins folks i think it's very important to understand how people start because it can give people like mephisto x the inspiration to start their own creator journeys. I mean, look at Roman. He's like 55 or something. I mean, 30 years of, of, of military uh, work can drive you crazy. I mean, going from one third world shithole to the next and everywhere in between. Uh, if he can start his creator journey at such a, an old age and, and still be firing on all cylinders and gaining support, then I'm sure you can too, Mephisto X. You've still got a good... 12 years, 12 to 15 years, because, you know. Yeah, and, I mean, YouTube isn't, isn't a particularly physically demanding job. Uh, you got, you're, you're, you're dealing with temperatures and that kind of thing. At least that's, that's like my biggest foe these days because it's, it's 90 degrees in the studio. But, um, yeah, you can, anybody can set up a channel and you just, you know, find what you want to talk about, man, and then, then go with it. Mm, I mean, how how did I start? How did the second run really uh, spring to life? First video talked about a bus strike in my local area, <laughs> and we haven't that's looked the, back. That's a that's a big difference to, to to the now. Like I said, you go to my channel and look at my my first video. My first recorded video was talking about the book "Who Goes There." Mm. Just me sitting there and. You know, it's it's fine, but you you know you got to start somewhere. And like I said, everything grows into what it is meant to be, or or dies, I guess. Um, but yeah, dude, yeah. Get in it's there. great. Just, it's great to see. It's great to see Gooch is officially rebranded as but Gooch. Gooch. The bit in between the penis and the anus. I hope you're doing well, uh, my good man, and and hopefully things are going well over it your channel uh, folks you should really check out diabolical souls presents especially the most popular show with a, a great special guest who who loves young people let's move on now to uh